Well, domestic violence is the third leading cause of homelessness. The community advocates for family and youth have received more than 1,400 domestic calls in 2017 alone. According to Kathy, when victims need to escape a harmful situation, the biggest problem they face is finding a place to stay. But a new app called Safe Night brings technology and the community together to help those in need. Joining us right now to talk a little bit more about this is Kayla Smith, program manager over at Kathy. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Uh, let's kind of, before we talk about the app, which I think is really cool, uh, talk about domestic violence in the county. What are you seeing? Are the incidents up or down? So in the county, the incidents of domestic violence are down. However, our numbers are increasing. We're, we believe that they're increasing due to the fact of organizations like our, like CAFI, as well as other organizations in the county, making domestic violence um, assistance and resources more available and known to the public. Now, last week you launched this app. Tell us a little bit about the benefits and, and how people can access it. Okay, so the Safe Night app is an app that is available to Apple users as well as Android users. This is a way for the community to give back um, and to assist individuals in need of safe and emergency shelter for domestic violence. The Safe Night app is free. You're able to download it and set up a profile, and the organizations um, such as CAFI can send out an alert to all the individuals who have downloaded the app. And at that time, they'll receive an alert on their device, and at that time, they're able to um, pay the amount that's requested to provide that safe night for that individual trying to flee that domestic violence situation or get out of harm's way. Right, and we're looking right there at the app and uh, kind of getting a sense of how it works there. You press on uh, community advocates once you get to the Maryland screen. And um, I was going to show you, if you come right back out here to our screen as well, that I've actually downloaded it as well. But there you go. That's the app. So I've downloaded that. Here's a question for you. How many people um, have you been able to help so far? I know you just launched last week, but do you have a sense of how many people uh, you've been able to help, or is it kind of too soon to tell? Right now it's a little bit too soon. Like you said, we did just recently um, download the app, and we have seen an increase in donors. So we believe that this will be instrumental in t for us to be able to help a lot more survivors and at a very quick pace. Now, the app is not the only program that you have to help domestic violence uh, victims. And tell us about some of the other programs. So, no, we're a victim, serv victim service organization. We provide a, a whole host of resources that are available to not only domestic violence uh, survivors, but also any anyone who is the, affected by um, crime. We offer counseling as well as legal services. Um, we offer criminal justice support. Um, and a whole, a whole host of different services that we offer. Exactly. I think a lot of people, when they think happy, they think domestic violence. But like you said, so many other services as well. And coming up in a few months, well, what, where are we? Uh, September? In October. Um, no, we're in August. We're almost <laughs> Getting my months She's all mixed ahead. up. Yeah. <laughs> but in October, you've got the 15th anniversary gala. And, and, and the name, I love the name, Taking the Mask Off of Domestic Violence. Tell me about that. Yeah, so the gala will take place on October 26th, and it'll be held at the Camelot by Martin's venue. Um, and we, we welcome everyone to kind of go on the Eventbrite and purchase a ticket and come celebrate with us and, um, when we're holding this event during the month of domestic violence awareness. All right, and where can people go for a little more information on your organization, the app, and this gala? Okay, so the app is the Safe Night app, and like I said, it's available on Apple as well as Android users. And for the, more information about Community Advocates for Family and Youth, we have a website, kathyonline.org. Right, right, right. Thank you so much, right. Kayla. And I wanted to point out the really another really cool thing that once you download it, you don't have to put your credit card information in here. It's only if you're going to help a survivor get out of, of that sort of harsh situation. So you just put it in and then they ping you and you don't actually have to put any information in it. So I thought that was kind of cool because people might be kind of nervous about uh, putting that in there. Yes, and the individuals that will be helped by the app, their information is also kept confidential. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate Thanks. your time. For more information about CAFI and the 15th Anniversary Gala, visit CAFIOnline.org.